Right, so welcome back to Sino Saga episode 1 when Villa Surmacht and I will not have the opportunity to say that so much longer. <sighs> yeah, well let's just see what lies around in here. Yeah, well, I hope you enjoy being back, Momo. told me what this facility actually was responsible for during the Milshan conflict. But I think I know. When I was born, Daddy died. That vision was true. And what happened afterwards was... Like mommy said, this is an abominable machine. A lot of people died because of my birth. Does that mean I'm an abomination as well? Just like daddy? Momo. No! No parent could ever say that. Shion? Even though you're a realian, you're still their child, right? No parent would ever think of their own child as abominations. Surely, there can't be any. Oh, hi. Okay, I hope I'm safe here. But yeah, um... When you, uh, well, if you paid attention there, you would have seen that they, uh, oh, well, this is getting annoying. Okay, you know what, I'll just take care of that dude, and, uh, I will talk more after that. <sighs> okay, now that we have some peace and quiet, um, uh, yeah, that cutscene there was, well, it showed an example of, um, all three different cutscene types, I mean both the uh, sort of normal dialogue, the uh, real-time rendered stuff, and a pre-rendered FMV video. And yeah, when you uh, when you defeat an Armoros uh, with the Dark Scepter, you get a uh, skill upgrade set out of the deal. That's um, yeah. I'm digging it. I can get with that. Uh, struggling to find something to use all these points on though. Yeah, whatever. It is all good. Oh, I think. Oh, uh, right. Um. Yeah, this will start leveling up soonish, and then, yeah, okay. Well, I'll just uh, go ahead and clear the room again for points. Okay, once again, let's go upgrade set. Oh, yeah. Not that I have anything to use it on. Thank you. 